Oh, hey, one, two, one, two. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are seen right. It is the main man himself. Your prayers have been answered. Yani, your, 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 your comments of asking for the Don Corleone have been answered. I normally don't do an intro like this. I normally rush through an intro, but this Don one Corleone deserves... Jenna. This one deserves the justice that is due to it. Listen yes. to this man, 2004 Kisima Award winner, 2006 Kisima Award winner, Best Male, Best Afrofusion and Best Music Video for Sinzia, 2006 Pearl of Africa Music Awards, 2007 Tanzania Music Awards, 2007 Chanolo Video Awards, 2008 Pearl African Music Awards, 2008 Kisima Music Awards, 2009 Tanzania Music Awards, 2009 MTV Music Awards. <laughs> We're in 2009. If I keep going, Yanni, the whole video will just be about his awards. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys yeah. and girls, put your hand for the together and apart and together very many times for the real OG <laughs> David Mazengi, aka wow, Monsky, wow, wow, wow. better known as Nameless. Your intro manzing your work for a stage. I'm schooling him sees how to do it. Anyway, man. Hey, Good to be here finally, man. Yanni, thank you too much for this, man. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, me, this finally. is a privilege, man. But even for me, it was a big deal. I've been watching, you know, so I was like, wow, I want to do that. Yeah. And share my story. And thank you for not being difficult and, mm. and, and just Yanni, not only sharing the story for me, but sharing the story, as you said, yeah. for, for those who are going to come after, yeah. those who are in this industry right now. Yep, yep, that's what it's about, man. So it is more than a privilege. Anyway, I've been introing you for about three minutes now. So yep, yep. <laughs> let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, and I always man. start this thing, man, like throwing this thing way back, yeah? yeah, so that people can understand your journey yeah. of how you've come to where you've been. And yeah. the question that, always, that I always start with is, when did you feel like you got the passion and the love for music? <laughs> oh, nice. Well, <clears throat> I was, I'm the last one of five. So, so I hear How many girls, of, boys? Two guys, two, 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 two brothers, two sisters. <laughs> so I used to hear music, the music they listened to, I would hear, you know, the 80s music and stuff like that. But when it became my music, stuff that I'm like, okay, this I like for me, is when I was in high school. So I always remember listening rap to- Rep your high school, homie. Rep your high yeah, school, man. Strathmore. <laughs> I was in Strathmore, man. Yeah. So <clears throat> it was a day school. And that time we used to live all the way in Kisarian, mm -hmm. pretty far. But that's the first time I had, um, that's when now Kina Snoop, now I'm talking about out of, you know, mm -hmm. what we're watching on TV, KTN and all that. That's when Kina Snoop, Dr. Dre were coming out, right? And it was gangster music, but I just loved the play of music. I mean, the play of words, like Snoop especially. Like, he made me like rap, like, yo. And even now when I watch the documentaries about it, they talk about how they twisted the rap game and slightly made it kind of commercial because the instrumentations used to be more melodious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even, you know, the singing of the choruses and what, so it, be, it crossed over. It's like this and like that and like this. this and a, it's hey, like that. I'm like, like man, <laughs> you know, it's such simple stuff. Uh -huh. 
that's when I started feeling, now this is, I like this vibe. And then um, closer, to, closer to me, in terms of Africa, was Femi, Femi Kuti. Femi, Fela? No, Fela Kuti. Who's mm. the son? I'm confusing. Fela, the one who's alive is Fela Kuti. Yeah. yeah. Bang, bang, bang. I remember watching mm. that song. And I'm like, wow, it's African, but it's so nice and energetic. So that's when I started feeling like I like music. Mm -hmm. But I never thought I would be a musician. So at this time in Strath, have you performed? No, I just liked it. And then Strath was not big on arts. arts. It was very science driven. So for me, it used to be we rap, you know, during break. And I'm like, you know, rapping, trying to be like Snoop, trying to be like, you know, and then try to put a few Swahili words here and there. But that was just, that's just when my interest was. Um, then fast forward. Kenya-wise, at this time, are you listening to anyone? Kenya-wise, not yet. In uh -huh. high school, there was not yet anyone who would say, wow. Okay, yeah? in fact, what time, what time? You would hear, there was, musically speaking, what, what, you know, yeah, I would hear them, but those are more like my sisters who are listening to Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, okay. But, what year is this? Uh, or it's that time when, when Doggy Style is dropping in terms of Snoop's yeah, album? Yeah, 90, 92, 93. Okay. That's the time, R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. You know, those guys are like, okay, this is, that's when I, teenage is, is when now you start to appreciate your own music. That's when you're younger, it's, you're listening to your parents' music, mm -hmm. your br bigger brother's music. But teenage is when now you start identifying your vibe. Mm -hmm. so that was my introduction to my vibe, you get? Then um, in Kenya, there were no, like, you know, you would say like urban pop artists at that point. The first urban pop artist I had Although Jimmy Gathu would do songs like, yeah, that's nice, you My know. My tattoo driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those ones, yeah. But you know, then um, when I got into campus, just when we started campus, is when um, I remember um, what are these guys called? Kamal Kalmashaka mm -hmm. and Hearthstone. That's around the time they came. That's the first time it was now a superstar urban pop artist in Kenya that made me say, yo. And that's when super, like, you know, hype and super. So I was like, yo, these guys are really cool. But in my mind still, I was like, you know, I mean, I was not seeing myself as a what? musician. Yeah. I was, me yeah, I'd gone to do architecture. It's like, for me, honestly, I wanted to be an architect since I was at six. Uh -huh. You get, like, I wanted to, I, I knew I was a creative, I like to draw and design. So instead at six is when I said I want to be an architect. So this whole time I'm like, I like music, but it's not my plan to be a musician or that. Because there was no one around that was looking at it and say, yeah. I want to be like that person. You get me? I get. It's yeah. like you can only be what you can see. Yeah. Can so for me, I'm like, 
Snoop. Oh, that's really cool. But then America. Ako, ako juu. Yeah, <laughs> maju. <laughs> Tuta enjoy. Tuta imba imba vidui hapa ki mchezo. Lakini, let's be honest, that can be a career. <laughs> so it can be a hobby. Yep. I'll be honest, it was a hobby. A good one. Are you getting me? Yep. So, I would write music. Ah, actually, that's, the story is like this. The funny story is like this. So I um, would write music to... So my friend in first year tells me, man, he has me rapping like other guys. Mm-hmm. Rap, 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 rap. So he tells me, man, I want to do this called Neto. I'm doing a song. You know how to rap. So you rap me a verse. And I was that time working Barclays, night shift, and then day, day campus. So I go and we record a song. It was called Ucha na Kupenda and I had a verse. I've tried to remember the verse. I need to find that song, you know. I don't know, well, it's about time I start to rhyme and tell these people in the world about it. Anyway, I'll find it. Yeah. So, so I rap that thing. And for me, it's for fun, right? Then I hear the First final of all, when product. Did you record? Oh, we recorded somewhere under KCC. There was a studio under there. Uh-huh. I'm trying to remember the name, who I can't remember. But there was a studio there. So this, I think I had that song once only in Metro Radio or KBC. Once, you know. That time Kenyan music was that much. And were you, what had you called yourself? Nah, now that time. <laughs> so because it was just like, you know, it just happened and I'm like, I don't have a name or what. So what just happened is the guy comes and tells me, man, I've got a deal to perform somewhere. Me, I'm like, I'm not really a type of performer. To be honest, I'm an introvert. You uh-huh. get me? So I'm not those guys who want to go up perform. Me, I'm like, I recorded, now we leave it. He calls me to Grand Regency. Tells me, that time it's called Grand Regency. He tells me, I just come to Grand, you see something. So when I come, there's an event. Me, I'm in sandals. He tells me, so we're next up on stage. <laughs> Dude, I was so mad with this guy, because he used to know. If he tells me, I'll not yeah, come. Yeah, not going to come. So, he, so now we're being introduced. Me, I don't have a name. I don't, so I call myself something. I think I call myself a mechanic or something. Because I used to wear overalls when I used to work. Like, when I finished campus, I worked in a factory or something. Yeah. So I used to have some overalls. So I gave, I think I called myself Slimmy Toes for the first one. So Neto and Sujihu, I performed bad perf- I hated the performance. In your sandals, yeah. Was sandals. Sandals, sandals, yeah, sandals. Yeah, they were kind of like sandals. <laughs> like, but they were kind of like shoe sandals. Anyway, so the long story is that I perform. Now my verse used to be at the end of the song, right? So I'm on stage, and guys are watching wondering, why is this guy on stage here? Yeah, he's just, just there. <laughs> He's not doing anything, he's not contributing to the song. <laughs> this is the guy is singing. This is the guy is singing. What's this guy doing? <laughs> I'm already pissed, I'm on stage, I've not been told. So anyway, I even remember the funny thing, the mic cord fell off. I wasn't even stressed because I knew my part is like <laughs> <laughs> You had time to pick it up. Go a kind back. And wait. My part comes, I did so I finished it, I didn't like that performance. Anyway, I come out. I go sit, I'm just thinking, man, that was I didn't like it. Eh. Then a chick comes and taps me. Hey, that was a really nice performance. And I'm like, ah, no, it wasn't a nice performance, let's be honest. So, you know, it might be was nice. So we start talking with her. You know who that was? No, shock me. <laughs> that was Wahoo. Oh, no. Yes, that was the first time to meet her. So Neto, <laughs> my pal used to know Wahoo. They'd known each other from me. So I think it was the same event. They knew they wouldn't be there. So she was also there, I think, to perform also. Yes. Because even her, she was just starting. So she. She, so that's how we said now vibing with her. She's like, oh, what? Okay. So I kind of liked her. Like she's pretty cool. She was she's giving me encouraging. Me. Yeah, <laughs> she just, yeah, then she's come at my lowest point where I'm thinking was that was bad. Then they're ready to ganja me at in fact, in fact they want you to go back. I refuse. I'm like that's at right. your own anchor. Eh? Anyway, so that's how I What's the guy called again? Neto. Him Neto, is called Neto. Neto, thank you for hooking Neto, up for brother. Let me tell you how Neto hooked me up as much as yeah, he's still my boy till today. He has hooked me up with two important things in my life. He only introduced me to music. Do you get me? He's yes. always forced me to go to a studio with him. Because me, I was just like, I like singing, but... Oh, forget it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's only made me go and I felt the experience. I was like, I like how the whole experience of writing, recording, and hearing myself later. You get? Yeah. I like that process. I was like, that was actually a cool process. Yeah. And then, the, um, he also introduced me to my wife. Like, 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 honestly, like, at the end of it all, <laughs> I, I own it a lot. <laughs> I own it a lot. Our song was Uchana Kupen. I'm still trying to find it. Anyway, so, um, this is now first year campus. Yeah, yeah, so first. So now, 
So I just, just like writing and stuff and it's just for fun, right? So now that I've written and we've done a few shows, we used to go do shows in different places. I remember once going to a show where Pinya was spinning and he was uh, telling him another day, mm. the place, you, Pinya that time was big, he was like a mystique, like Pinya is here. <laughs> you take to this Pinya. Then you see, he comes with a skaka, he comes, he, he talks. He, he was so big that time already, mm-hmm. he would be like five gigs at the same time, so he just, he doesn't even perform, he doesn't even play, he just comes, he's present for like, 15 minutes, then he goes, then you know, but his guys are not <laughs> speaking. He was there. He was there. So, um, a year later, no, just around that time, I'm writing in my, I remember I was just in my room in campus, trying to write some, because I'm like, okay, this music thing was fun, let me write. Bro, on radio, I hear a song, the first time I had a song called Tough City He. Kalamashaka. Kalamashaka. And I had that song, and I put my pen down. I said, I cannot compete with this. Straight from the Mau Mau camp, yeah. in the red corner, uh-huh. yeah. Muliro, the yeah. Ote Roa, yeah. in the blue corner, uh-huh. Akamau, Cheki Kivya, I'm uh-huh. um, the referee, uh-huh. the Mr. Vieti, Doka Kama Mashaka, Guys, like for me, I'm like, if this is the kind of stuff that's coming out, just forget writing music. It sounded so good, so street, mm-hmm. you get, mm. that everyone was relating with. So Keisha, when I had them for the first time, I actually left writing as eh, music is not my thing. Like, if these are people I don't compete with, <laughs> I can't even dare. Forget it. Forget it. They had just done it with Ted. So, so I leave my pen, I forget it. So what happens? I, after like four months later, I say, ah, you know what? Let me just write. I like writing. I just have to write my own style. Mm. So I started writing again, pole pole. Just, you know, my own style. I'm like, let me not try to be like them. Mm. They were street in a nice yep, way, yep, nice yep. voice. Mm. But I'm like, where will I place myself? And the reason I'm sharing this is because I realize that you have to just identify what's your thing. Mm. You get, sometimes people try to be like someone else, then they fail at it. You just have to identify what's your story. Mm. And if you have the right person to package it, you get, because you also have the right person to package your story. Yeah. And you have, and you have a, a level of talent, it, will, it might pay yeah. So, so I start writing again, and I'm like, let me try, I'll try. So one day, <clears throat> I was in a very low mood. I, was, I don't know what had happened to me. I was like, you know, when I look back, you look and realize it might have been something very small that was disturbing, but I was feeling man said this life. <laughs> because like 20, eh? This life was, no one understands me. My sisters, my brothers, my mom. I remember all that because I'd even written a, 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 something to myself eh? uh. if I was feeling down. So I went to my evening job. See, I used to be in campus. Yes. So I was working at a night shift somewhere. A back, uh, bank. Yeah. I, used to, I used to just input data. So we'd go there from 4 till about 12, just inputting data. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I go sleep and then I go back to school the next day. <clears throat> so, so I'm there. I used to be night, just me and another guy called Newton. So me, I'm working, typing, inputting data. Then the radio comes on. We're, we're listening to Capital. Yes, 98.4 yeah. Capital FM. Yeah, we listen to Capital FM. Modoni Bika is the one who's there, and she has her guest, Te Josiah, the biggest producer who has produced this song. Tafsiri. Thank you. <laughs> yani, the girl who just made magic out of Tafsiri. And um, these are the guys, Gidi Gidi. Mm. Yeah? You get those guys down P. Dalim P. I get him. Yep. They're big, so I'm like, Te is in the studio. What does he say? If you think you can rap or sing, call in and you might win uh, a record deal with Ted Josiah. Are you getting me? Now, <laughs> me, I'll be very frank and I'll tell you my personality. 
in normal circumstances, I would not have called. Like, I was like, I'm not sure about my talent. Yeah. I didn't like putting myself out there like in a competition to be judged. Mm. We tried that one year before with uh, with wifey and we were just dismissed. We were told, just go back home. <laughs> so bad. So I would not have called. Mm. I thank God I was feeling down. Because I almost didn't care. Because mm -hmm. of where you are. I was feeling down like one in what? You get. So I'm here working with this guy. The type used to be side, used to be sit side by side, just talking as we're typing, yeah. So I don't tell him. May I just hear what they've said? I get out. We used to be like in, it's a it was a bank, so there were many offices, eh? Yeah. So I come out of that office, I go to the another office. Then I take the phone, the the the, the, the phone, I type. I, I call. I, sorry, I call Capital. Yeah. They said the number. I remembered it. I call. <clears throat> so they tell me, yeah, so call. I, I'm like, I've gone through. That was my first time. I know, time. in fact, me, I'm like, you went through on the first yeah, try. Yeah, yeah. I've gone through. So I'm talking. Yeah. So I'm hearing Modoni's voice. Like this Modoni, we're talking to me. I'm like, yeah. He's telling me, oh, so you want to try? Yes. Okay. Um, which beat do you want? I said, give me any beats you want. Yeah. So they give me a beat. So what do I start singing? One of the songs I started writing. Very simple song, easy song, because I'm like, that's the way I am. That's boy na mapema, na amuka. That it's just a bit, a bit, a bit. Then I do, I rap a few things. Then I finish. Then Ted is like, hmm, interesting. Um, what's your name? Now, <laughs> in my head, I think I've not decided on a name. Like I've, I kept changing my name every time when I used to work, work with Slippy me. toes, Slippy toes, <laughs> mechanic. I don't know what. And any time I'm called, I'm like, that's a bad name. I change it for the next time I go. For. And those shows are all free. We used to always beg promoters, let this <laughs> So I just be like, so I thought I can't say my real name because if my boss is listening to radio, that time it was only Capital and in Capital, I think 90% of people used to listen. Exactly. So if my boss Especially is listening, he it's not homework. Yeah. So I'm like, if my boss, they'll be like, you are you're using company put it to call <laughs> so i can't say my real name i still don't have an artist name dude i just from the top of my head just say nameless like you know like no name nameless so they're like i hear ted saying no it was modoni say nameless no no ted actually he says nameless that's an interesting name then modoni says i like it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> then i'm like you know me i'm like even, even me, i like, like it <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a cool name. So, so they say, okay, call our viewers and uh, listeners. Uh -huh. If you like what you had, um, call and vote for Nameless. So what do I do? I come back to the office. When I come sit, now remember, I'm a bit insecure about my music is mm -hmm. really good. I'm not sure. I've had songs like Tough City. I'm like, I can't compete. Mm. So when I come, I don't tell my brother that it's me who's called, right? Yeah. So he tells me, Hey, Monsky, once you've missed another guy, it's called Nameless. That oh. guy's <laughs> serious. I'm like, for real? Now me? <laughs> he doesn't know he's building my confidence. I'm like, for real? How was he? Ah, he's a nice man. He's just rapping nicely, polite. I mean, he has a vibe, man. So I'm like, this was on a Thursday. Me, you know this? What? This was what changed my life. Eh? This was on a Thursday. So I'm like, how was he? He's nice here. So I'm like, okay, sir. Then we hear after like 30 minutes. Okay, um, the winner of tonight at the end of the show was Nameless. So the guy says, you see, Nameless won. Now in my head, I'm like, I have won, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> I still don't tell him. I go, Kampo. I tell Wahu now later. Yes. You guys are dating now, of course. Yeah, we're dating. Yeah. So I tell her, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't tell the party. Yeah, I was the winner. So. So I tell her, like, I'm like, I actually called and I won. So what will you do? I said, I have to write something. Then, of course, tomorrow is the finals. So tomorrow is going to be the Friday. So I go there on Friday. So they Now this time you're going to Capital? No. I go to work. Oh, okay, I go to work. Okay. So when I'm at work, they, um, they announce again. So Nameless, if you're hearing us, call us for the finals. So may I hear them myself as well. <laughs> I think they even told me to call at around 7.30. Me, I'm typing. Again, I'm just typing at some point, I step out. This guy is not noticing when I'm stepping yeah. out. I just step out. 
I go. He means that he's thinking subconsciously he's going to the toilet. Yeah. I go. I record. I call, sorry. And then I wrap my another thing I wrap. And then I finish. Then I come back. I come and sit. This guy tells me, Bro, you're so always I'm missing this guy. <laughs> this guy is bad. <laughs> This sounds like Clark Kent and Superman. <laughs> yeah, so tell me guys, these stories, they always die. It was so funny. Because you know me, you have to remember, I was not secure about my talent. I was not sure. But then, it's as if I like, kind of like trying. So, I come, I'm like, he's telling me, this guy is, is serious, you keep missing him. So I'm like, hey, okay, how was he? So he's now building yeah, my confidence. Yeah. So anyway, so they announce. So the winner of the whole thing is who? Nameless. Nameless. Then I'm like, so guys have voted for me. In my head, that was, you know, a real affirmation that what I'm doing is, actually, is, is actually cool. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't sure. Me in my head, I'm thinking, Kalmashaka is so good. You know, they're talking about Dandora. You know, it just came yeah. out so well. So you don't feel you can, Nini. You have no story to share. But it was just a simple story. It was about this campus guy who's just like, you know, Subuina Mapema na Muka. Just simple. So I'm told to go it's to about Ted's. You. It's just about me in campus. <laughs> So me, I go. <laughs> Hold on, the lyrics were about you. Yeah, it's about me, yeah. <laughs> so I go to Ted's on Saturday. Because we're told now, you go. So Modern tells me, so you're going to go to meet Ted. I think I talked to Ted, he told me, you come. So I go to Ted's studio. I think I'm there. So you're nameless, yeah. I even met, I think, uh, there are two guys I met there who are also competing, who are trying I, to compete. You, you, I know who one of them is. Because oh. we're in school together in Brayside. Who? In fact, I know both of them. Mm. One of them was Kaz, Karen Lucas. Yes. And the other was a guy called Murani. Thank you. <laughs> you know these guys. Murani's in Canada. Now. Yeah, he's in Canada. Yeah, yeah, that's even recording crazy. Some stuff with Murani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So I got around the time they're all around there. Yeah. I think um, Murani is one I met. Anyway, so I rap for Ted. I rap, I rap, I rap. And that's now I tell you now things like mentorship and guidance is important. Because I'm rapping, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. He's listening. He's like, okay, this is nice. But he tells me, but where is your hook? So I asked him, what do you mean a hook? He's like, I like your flow, mm-hmm. but we need a chorus. I, in my head, I realized I had not written a chorus. I was just writing verses, a rap, a story. So I told him why. He says, you need to hook people. You get? Like when you're saying you need to hook mm. people. So I was like, oh, so I need a hook. Yeah. yeah. So he told me, go back home and then come tomorrow to record with a hook. So I went back to campus, it was campus. It was a walking distance, like. Yeah. So I go, now I really now, now I'm like, I've met Ted first, I can't believe it. <laughs> I won, Kwanzaa. I won, <laughs> I've met Ted, and now he's told me I need a hook. I need to bring this. <laughs> so, so that's how I got the Megarida hook. So I was reading, uh, like, actually this story, I'll just say it's about this Megarida ticket. So I come back on Sunday, uh, then I explain to him, uh, so it's this guy, He's this chick, he likes this chick, but he doesn't have money. And there are all these rich guys. Because mm. I, I used to have that insecurity, man. I'm dating this ka chick, she used to compete in these beauty pageants. And the rich guys used to come like, hey, what's up, give her a card. I'm like, what? That's my shorty. That's my shorty, man. Then I'm looking at her, why did you keep that card? She's like, no, I want me to throw it. But I'm like, relax, I'll not use it, you know? So you have those insecurities, eh? So that's what I'm telling the guy. So I'm like, so what I'm saying with Mega Rider is about this bus ticket and these guys, Telling this chick, I know I don't have a car, but I've jipangad because Megari does used to be tickets you buy to Jipanga, eh? Mm. Like every month. So Ted likes it. He's like, oh, that's pretty cool. So we use a beat. I remember we used like a we, we borrowed from a Bone Thugs harmony track mm. and he changed it. Because so, Crossroads was huge then, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was called, I was trying to remember which one it was, but I know it was Bone Thugs. Yeah. So anyway, so <clears throat> we record under his direction, do this change here, sing here, do this here. Now I'm with the top producer. You need to understand how for me it's like a big deal. These are guys who I'm like, so I'm recording, recording. So I finish. He's a very serious guy when you're recording. Yeah. So it's like, okay, cool. So this is Sunday. So he says, okay. So Monday, you'll hear, I wanted to hear, he says, now on Monday, you'll hear the final. You know, I'm just like a kijana. Mm. Monday. <laughs> so may I go. Monday, Niko happy? Niko job. Evening again. Oh, yeah. With my boy Newton. <laughs> About to pull a superman. <laughs> so I'm there like this. 
Modoni says, I've not heard the song also. Me, I just recorded, so I don't know how it sounds. So Modoni introduces, remember the guy of last week who won, Nameless? His song is ready. It's called what? Mega Rider. <laughs> Listen now. Now I'm hearing it for the first time. What? This guy still doesn't know. So what, this, what does this guy tell me? He says, aha. Uko <laughs> apa Do not leave. This the guy was telling me. What's the guy's name again? Neutral. Neutral. <laughs> he became a tattoo artist. So, me, me, my, me, I just want to hear how the song is. I'm not yet told him, but I just want to hear the song because I'm like, really, how did this thing chuck? Eh? I might be here saying, yeah, it's mine, come <laughs> The song started playing. The two kinds of people, those guy names of name. I'm hearing, Wahoo did my backup. She came with me on the Sunday. So the voice, the chick's voice is Wahoo, yeah? What? Yeah. You so guys started recording together that way back? Yeah, like she was, she's my girlfriend yeah. and she can sing. So I told her, let's go to Ted's on Sunday then. You know, Ted said, you can sing, right? Yeah. Sing this part. You can do this thing, yes. Say this part. Even the part she acts like a show show. In the song. Yes. So the song plays, plays. I'm hearing it. I don't think I'll ever get that experience because it's like your first time, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. Millions are hearing this song. And I was loving how he done it. You know, yeah. now Ted, he has done his things. Okay, let's table, let's stop, but I have to peace, but there's two types of people in the world those who've got names and those who are nameless 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 I got no fame and I got no name To be loved or to be loveless To have a home or to be homeless To have a car or to be callous I suburbi na mapema Na amuka Ni na oga Na uliza Mira mira on the ukuta What do I need? Ogeza mafuta Weka marashi so that I nuki You never know I might meet my mali Chuku alongi Piga pasi Sasa ni laini Wapendeza Napanda basi kwa ni sinagana We are going to the city Wololo shosho gombaro Anataka kiti Mpe ni nafasi asati Eshima kwa wazazi Tumefika mwisho wa safari Ala Conductor, anakucha, kunisumbua, eti anataka pisa Mega Rider I got a Mega Rider Mega Rider I got a Mega Rider Mega Rider I got a Mega Rider Mega Rider So as the song was going towards the end, I start singing along, like now some words. So this Newton guy, <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, how do you know this song? Even? Like, why are you singing this part? Yeah, like the ending part. Eh? And then I tell him, dude, I have a confession. <laughs> do you know this is me? You know the way you can see in his face, he's trying to connect. <laughs> No wonder you are always absent when this <laughs> nigga what? <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yeah, so that's how I got my first um, break. Okay. Of being nameless uh -huh. and Mega Rider, which was 99, which is, of course, that's why I'm saying it's 20 years since that time. Yeah. So that's how it started. Yeah. That, for me, that was my, I guess that's my break because now when the song came out. In fact, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. 